Thanks to Rustbot for sponsoring this video. They're currently doing a $2,000 giveaway for 10 lucky winners. If you're interested, the link's in the description below. What's up everybody, Iris PvP back here with yet another video. And I had this very long spiel that I live recorded whilst I was getting this footage, but it wasn't very well said, so I'm going to condense it down for you guys. First off, I'm going to be putting more effort into YouTube and posting more often. Now I'm not saying before I was just saying, who gives a fuck about YouTube, let's put in no effort at all, because that wouldn't be true. But what I can say is, I plan to step everything up a few notches. That includes my streaming, YouTube, being more active on social media, being more positive as a person, just the whole shebang. Now this isn't like a new year, new me type of thing. It's kind of like just something that I need to do and I want to do. And to prove it, I'm going to start doing YouTube exclusive content. So stuff I purely just record, not live streamed, no face cam, none of that. Of course, plenty of my stream content will still be here, but only the best of the best. And then I'll have exclusive YouTube content specifically for you guys. Now, if this is something that interests you, let me know with a rating, a comment, or leave me a message on my Discord, because I want to get you guys' real take on this. And I want to understand what my community truly wants. So without further ado, let's just hop into it. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope to blow away your expectations. I'm here for the ups. I'm here for the downs. I'm here for the whole spiel, all right? I'm ready, and I just want to play. It's a little bit later than I usually would like to play on these types of servers. It's around 2.30, but I got a real good, like, two-hour nap in earlier. So the hope is that I can play for, like, just a stupid amount of time, right? Like, six, seven hours, and hopefully still be good for just being alive tomorrow. And hopefully getting some stuff done on stream. But I'm not really going to worry about that. I'm just going to kind of roam around and get a feel for where I want to build and the area that I'm already in. Okay. Tier 2. Empty base. Free tuna can lamps. I like it. I don't know what I should do. I mean, I guess I could try to like make a crossbow here. Is there any granders nearby? I go to abandoned supermarket, but it looks like from the amount of shops that are up there, it's probably a Zerg. Also, if the overlay is on, I'm not actually sure. I'm going to post these pretty soon after I record them. So it's kind of to prevent anybody from like figuring out where I am and what I'm doing and coming and fucking with me. I guess I'm just going to run the road until like I either see somebody or I find a base I want to take over or something like that. What would be the real creme de la creme? So we could find a DK base. Oh, that's actually... Okay. So I recently figured out that using the whole electrical deal is not actually difficult whatsoever. And so I've been thinking of some, you know, some trap base designs. And the door controller seems to be extraordinarily rare. At least it was for me. So I thought it'd be cool. I'm not gonna like... I'm not gonna like, you know, only shoot for that and just ignore, like, just playing the game. Because that's what I want to do is just play. But as a little side quest, I would not mind having a, a little bit of a trappy trap base, you know? Oh. Oh, it's... Okay. The fucking rust world is calling to me, my guys. All right, we got to figure out where a good place to um to set up would be. I have a pretty good idea already. Oh, my gosh. That's a spot. If you can't see on the map, there's satellite, sewer, and water treatment. Pretty darn close to each other. Which should mean that a little 2 by one with a door controller and a switch could do quite a lot of good things. And so I farmed, and I farmed, and I farmed. Finding more and more trap-based components along the way. And although I knew it'd be a goal of mine later down the line, that's, that's, that's a thing. Battery and solar panel, and we're, we're in. Good. The amount of loot I gathered was just too much to not just slap down a base. And so I went hunting for the first place that I'd call home. More foundations. Oh, what's this at? Okay, if it, if it breaks, it breaks, but we can maybe save it. Honestly, I should be getting wood first. Okay, hammer it. I'm gonna try to, we're gonna try to save this tier one. We're pretty far away from that at base over there. Five seconds. I don't, I think maybe we should try to save it all. I don't know. One hit here, one hit here, one hit here. That's all I got. I maybe had more, I don't know, for fuck's sake. Okay, and then we'll do a little bit of... Okay, we're gonna grab all this, smash it in there. 
All right, so I have that, and I lock it, and now no one can loot anything. It's over here unless they break the TC. Okay, we need more wood, we need stone, we need a lot of stuff. So what we're gonna do is skip over pretty much all that, aka the farming, and show you guys the finished product. Of course, using this furnace here. And look, we got, we got something. It ain't much. And it ain't really good. But it's ours. Maybe a good idea would be to just roam around the desert, do a quick, like, swoop. Oh my fucking, you're such a dick. And find that one guy that's farming for way too long and has, like, 20k stone or sulfur or whatever. Just some, just get the guy that's farming. You know, you know who he is. I mean, you know who he is because at one point that was you. You're like, ah, fuck it, dude. I'm playing with a group of four. It'd be cool if, like, they woke up and they didn't have to worry about upkeep or whatever. Fucking, you got, like, three rows of stone on you and a bunch of sulfur or some shit and then die because he's being stupid. Didn't go in bank. All right. I claim to know this by heart, but, oh, I can see it, just barely. Did I land? I can't even tell, okay. I forget what, okay, I can kind of see this. Okay, I'm just saying, it's probably darker on my screen than it is. For oh my god! Let's go! After running around for a while, Looting what I could from the rad towns. I decided to finally try and get my base to stone. So I went on a stone run. Oh, there's a guy right there. I'm gonna go for him. Maybe he lives in that, like, shitty wooden base. I should- Ooh, I need both those things really bad. Fuck. Cause he was running pretty, pretty assertively this way. This base looks like it's definitely decay- Okay, there's an auto turret on the front hand side. Probably know we already could have be in here. I'm assuming 99% of stuff's gonna be taken. But I do have enough to craft a hammer to pick up something. Okay, door open over there. What the fuck is this? Oh no, it's you. Ow! Oh, fucker, get out of here, you little shithead! Oh my gosh. What the fuck? All right, didn't expect that. Maybe that base just popped. I guess the only thing really to do is bring back an Ioka. They were disrespecting me pretty hard, but that one guy whiffed super bad. He just probably saw me, huh? I planned in, maybe he didn't. I wonder if I could kill him. I know I could kill the, the guy with the P2. The guy with the P2 sucks. Although I did lose both fights, I still did gain some valuable information about the area. If these guys were skulking around in the desert, as well as looking at decayed bases, it's likely they had been getting some luck out there. So I decided to check the general area around that compound. They stripped my bow. Oh, they left like, okay, you know what? I didn't see that the first time. I thought they took a lot of my like stone and stuff. So these guys probably didn't find this base with that much loot in it. But they did seal it for some reason. Maybe they live nearby. And because of that, they didn't want anybody moving in and taking over the tier 3. So you know what? Maybe I am a cocksucker for coming back. But I wanted my shit anyways, so fuck you. <laughs> I was a cocksucker with a mission, I'll have you know. What? There's dropping 132 sulfur on the ground? Like, fuck it? Alright. Yeah, these guys aren't like fucking... These guys are by no means plebeians, alright? These guys be rolling... The big tables. What the fuck? Wait, there's stuff on the ground here. Someone's been here like not... What? Was it the two guys found this base too? Those guys are picking up all... Dude, these guys are just making rounds. Fuck. They're obviously full inventory because they have like corn seed dropped on the ground and shit. After this, I did a lot of general maintenance stuff. Farming, grinding, and upgrading the base. And after all that grinding, I decided to spend some of my spoils on researching some items I'd found on my adventures. 
The primary reason I wasn't just completely focused on roaming around was because it was pretty late at night, or should I say early morning. And so most people that were on were most likely focused on farming or getting a start, rather than roaming for fights. But after getting to know my area for a little bit, I stumbled upon something interesting. God, this base needs to be flamethrowered so bad. Oh, that's his loot? Are you shitting me? Okay, no, I don't see any boxes. I just see the, uh... Oh, I see boxes. Okay. Fuck's sake. Alright. Well, first off... Let's bop this shit. Whew. Oh, okay. ah! <laughs> really had to have a big finish, I guess. Okay, garbage. Uh, like, less than garbage? Open door. The guy who lives here. Let's prepare that shit. Nice. Okay. Looks like if we drop down. Safety sulfur. We could pick up or hatch it up into these. Don't know if I can go further than two. One, two. Is this what I can see in the front? I want to get back on the roof, but now that I thought about it. Might not be the easiest thing. Why didn't I just craft a ladder, man? <laughs> I feel like I saw... No, I couldn't see anything in the front. I'm pretty sure. So maybe we just break this right here. I can see that it just leads to another door, though. So maybe not. Yeah, it's a door to a door. Is there any box here? Well, that was a fucking dud. From what I could tell. I guess I just break out the back? Or what is this? Does this lead me anywhere? Oh... Okay, that is actually so secretive. I actually didn't think of that. I was about to leave, like I swear. What? And there's more boxes up here too, dude. That's actually so good though. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really notice that. I kind of was just like, might as well shove my head through here. That's not bad at all. Like what? And my man's got some random shit. He's got a hat. Like, he's got stuff on him, too. I can't really see anything else. I know there's a box here. I guess I'm just gonna hatch it my way up. Ah. Wait, I'm actually fucking so dumb. Open door. The guy who lives here. Oh, God, it hurts. I mean, I guess I broke out all the bags in one swift put. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed in myself, but you know what? I'll take it. I think the rest of the loot's actually up here, maybe? What's up? Wait, did, TC, did their TC actually have nothing in it? Okay, there it is. Oh, shit. Yes. Yes. Fuck me. I actually feel so weird. Because, like, I was so close to leaving. With nothing, man. Wait, was it? Okay, then they have a door here. I was about to say, do they have like a like a secret entrance type meme? Okay, they, these guys were poor otherwise. I think I literally got all of their good shit. I have these learned. Blue cards are actually really sick though, for water at least. After this amazing discovery, I started hauling pretty much everything I could back to my base. But at one point, I thought it'd be quicker to head to the grinder with most of their loot, go back to the raid, and bring it all back in one big haul. I should be kind of worried about losing the bullet, but at the same time, as soon as you get a gun, you get the bullet with it. This guy right there. This guy just grinded, probably. Oh, shit. One hit. My man was low. Ooh, that's fucking fatty. Okay, dude. That is fatty, dude. I can't hold all that. Like, I just gotta go 
is what I'm talking about. The people that run around and just like are just stalked. So with that, I'm going to call it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are enjoying the extra effort put in. I'm well aware this wasn't the most PvP filled video, but I enjoyed it. And just because this video wasn't chock full of PvP content, the story I've already built on this server is one you won't want to miss. I promise. And with that, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of the next episode on this solo series. Oh, there's two right there. Oh jeez, better not headshot me dude.